Hello and welcome to Biology Explained. Today we're going to be looking at binary fission as part of the GCC revision series. Prokaryotic cells can reproduce using a simple type of cell division, which we call binary division. And this is produced by prokaryotic cells, not eukaryotic cells. So pre prokaryotic cells, are, as we've talked about in previous videos, are very simple, generally single celled organisms that have no nucleus, no kind of membrane bound organelles within them. They just kind of got all their stuff floating around within their membrane. And so they're very simple basically. And so that makes sense then that they divide in a very simple way, which we call binary fission. And it's pretty simple. It's basically the cell splits into two. There's a bit more to it than that though. So I'm just gonna draw out the processes that happen when a prokaryotic cell replicates. And as you can see, basically you've got the cell begins and then the cell contents doubles. They move to opposite poles, they split, and then two new daughter cells are formed. And then I'll go over that in a little bit more detail. Okay, so basically in step one, the circular DNA and also the plasmids that are within the prokaryote replicate. It, that everything doubles, the cell contents doubles. Then the cell gets bigger, allowing it more room to replicate. So basically the cell membrane grows and both the circular DNA and the plasmids move to opposite ends of the poles. So the contents has doubled. Now each, so it's basically twice the amount. So half of it goes to either side of the pole, if that makes sense. So you've doubled it and now the contents goes to either side. So you have the same amount that was originally in the cell on either side of and once that's happened, the cytoplasm begins to divide, as we can see in step three, although I haven't drawn it particularly well, and a new cell wall begins to form. So like the cell begins to split. And then, as you can see in step four, this eventually results in two daughter cells being produced. And each daughter cell now has one copy of circular DNA, so the main DNA of a prokaryote. But it can also have a variety of copies of plasmids because they can randomly get assorted into either cell. And that allows for some kind of level of genetic variation to go on when binary fission occurs. And that's a, a, a key way like antibiotic resistance and stuff can be passed on between uh, cells or you could get new kind of varieties of genes that go into cell because generally genes are transferred between prokaryotes by the plasmids. And then it's also important to know here that bacteria are able to divide very quickly using binary fission, but they have to have the right conditions. So this is simple things like having a warm environment, being the right temperature for their reactions to occur, and also having lots of nutrients to allow the reactions to occur um, to the best of their ability. For example, E. coli can only take a little as 20 minutes to replicate. However, if the uh, conditions don't become good, the cell will stop dividing and even die. I hope this has been pretty clear about how binary fission occurs. Please like and subscribe for more, more videos. Thank you.